That gets your attention? All right. How's the food? Hey! Is, I can't hear them. What did they say? Louder! Hey! Let's bring the energy level up, right? Okay, our first round presentation will be, it's going to focus on Millbrae Elementary School District. And our two presenters will be Superintendent Vaughn Paper, sir. Yeah! Woo! And, who's and up? MEF President Mara LaBaron Shea. Woo! So take us away, and everybody else still enjoy your food and let them have it. All right, how's everyone doing tonight? So I'm sitting at the best table in the house, and what. And what they said to me was, Vaughn, please don't be boring. And so I've switched up my uh, spiel tonight. Uh, Board of Trustees, I apologize because I'm changing uh, just, just a little bit so that I don't bore everyone here and they're going to fall asleep. But first and foremost, thank you to the Millbury Lions. It is an honor to be standing here today and just speaking to all of you. Um, and on beho behalf of the Board of Trustees, our district administration, thank you to the Millbury Lions, not just for tonight, but for your partnership in our schools and, in our, and with our kids. So on behalf of all of us, thank you. I do, um, do want to give a shout out to Lion Calvin Chin. Um, uh, yes. A shout out to uh, Lion's uh, uh, immediate past president, Mr. David Van Wart, and the current president, Mr. Bart Specia. And, and the reason why... And the reason. Check. Check. There the battery's dead on this one. Yeah. All right. They were instrumental in helping us design tonight um, because the theme tonight is partnership. And if you um, if you think about the idea of partnership, this is what it's about. Um, um, I was in Kansas City. I wanted to tell you about that. My hometown, I'm from Shawnee Mission, Kansas. And I was in Shawnee Mission, Kansas for a wedding last, uh, two weeks ago. And I sat next to my uncle. I don't know if it was my real uncle or my, or the, the, or, or my parents when I was little said, that's your uncle. And, um, I'm looking around the room because I want to ensure that we're respectful. But he, he looked at me and he said, what the hell does a superintendent do? <laughs> and I said, you know what? Um, I have the best job in the world. Um, this, is, this is from me, genuinely. I've been in the Millbury School District for 11.5 years. I had your kids, right? I had your kiddo. Um, and and I, Trusty Barbara, I had yours as well. Um, and, and, and I, was, I was 16 at the time. I had your kid too, Mr. Van Wart. Um, and, I, and, I, and I said to uh, my uncle, I said, you know what I get to do? I get to drive to work every day, and I have the opportunity to hang out and, and, and co be collaborative with all these service organizations, with the city council, me, little me, with the city council and then city council staff, and I get to work with the most amazing administrative staff that Millbury School District has ever hired. And so you guys see that the principals are in the house. Thank you. And one of the things I also got to share with him is I have one of the most amazing board of trustees. And they sit here at table one. Um, and, I, and I share that because it is because of Board of Trustees that we fight tooth and nail to be able to say that we want the best for our kids. We want the best for all the kids in Millbury. We do. We fight tooth and nail. And when they say, Vaughn, go out there and find the best programs, that's what we do. That's what we're charged to do. Go out there and, and, and take a look at best practice in terms of how we take a look at facilities and how we take a look at teaching spaces and how we take a look at, at professional development. So Board of Trustees, thank you for your support and thank you for your continued um, um, trust in me. It means a lot. 
Um, one of the things I wanted to mention, and I would be remiss not to state this today, thank each and every single one of you. Um, there are folks that are sitting in the chairs today that I consider my friends <laughs> because I've um, I probably known you longer than some of my childhood <laughs> friends. And I've probably hung out with you, Miss Mora, more than my mom in the last five years. I, so I thank you for that. Um, one of the things that I get to fight for in the Millbury School District is this. When I look at the kids from TK to eighth grade, they're looking at me. They're looking at us. What they're saying is, we have entrusted our lives in you. So you should fight for us. You should beat down every door for every resource that you can get. And I would be remiss not to say thank you to the Millbrae community for passing the Millbrae's first and ever parcel tax this past June. You all know that those dollars were so needed to maintain the strong programs that we have today. Um, it's so needed because the staff that, that your children and our children um, get the honor of being with, we need to attract them. We need to continue to support them. We need to, we need to say why you should come to Millbrae. And so I thank you because the parcel tax dollars will be used, um, and it will be used to, to continue the programs, the great programs here in Millbrae. Um, one of the things that we are extremely excited about is this. Um, I have your commitment and your trust that I am responsible, we are responsible as a board of trustees and as a school district to think about our facilities. Our community is changing. Our community is growing. And so I'm tasked to think about Vaughn. It's not about you. It's not about the people sitting in this room. It's about 50 to 100 years from now where none of us would be sitting in this room and they're gonna say, Superintendent, why didn't you plan for that? And so when you see some of the work that's coming out from the school district, yes, we care about our facilities, we care about our space, we care about our financial resources and revenue, we care about the continue obligation that we have as a Millbury community. So I thank you in advance because there will be more conversations about what that looks like and how we're going to embark in that work. Um, I'm going to close with two items. Um, the two items are be rest assured that we're fighting hard for the academic programs for our kids. They deserve it and they certainly, um, they, they certainly entrust um, in our expertise in that work. And so I assure you, as your superintendent of Millbrae School District, we will find the best programs. We have some of the finest staff that will research and implement those programs for our kiddos. Um, one of the things that you'll hear me talk about often is we've embarked in a new territory um, um, under the umbrella of social-emotional learning. We have chaos in our world. And it is our obligation to teach what empathy is. It is our obligation to teach about if you're feeling sad and how I'm supposed to respond to that. And so that has been a district initiative for us. Please pay attention to those stories and, 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 and pay attention to how you can help. And as I close, before I introduce Ms. Um, Maura LeBaron Shea, our president of the MEF, I'm gonna do a plug for an event that we are hosting. It's a give back to the Millbury community. We are um, hosting a CPR Saturday, which we're super excited about. It is Saturday, February 2nd. Um, we're working with the Millbury community to be, to be able to give back to you all to showcase our beautiful Carolyn Shea Center. And if, um, if you don't know it, there's a secret room in the back. <laughs> um, um, if there's a secret room in the back that hides all of the treats from um, our food services department. So you sneak back there for a couple of treats. Um, come join us on February 2nd for a celebration of our community and a give back um, as part of an educational piece. But other than that, Thank you. This is from the bottom of my heart. I'm blessed to be here and thank all of you for your support. Thank you. And Vaughn, thank you too.
Thank you so much. Uh, this is a hard act to follow, um, but I will do my very best because I am very lucky to be full of, to be in a room full of people who have a lot of fun doing really serious work. Um, and so, you know, I know last year the theme for this event was community, and this year the theme is partnership. And I was thinking about what's the difference between those two themes, because they do kind of overlap. And I realized, in my opinion, um, that community is about being together, getting to know each other, but partnership is about doing together. And when I look around this room at everyone who's here, I see so many different ways that organizations that you all are involved in and contributing to that make a huge difference for kids in Millbrae. So it's not just about kids during the school day, it's also about kids on the ball field. It's about kids in after school programs. It's about kids doing their extracurricular activities and sports, learning teamwork, um, getting to know what it's like to volunteer. There's so many different ways that we support um, not just kids learning, but kids learning to engage in their community and partner as well. So I'm so happy to be here. Um, <clears throat> Rob, I'm gonna ask if you could zoom ahead, if you can find the slides that start with MEF. Because um, I do wanna show you all a little bit of information um, that hopefully will show up. It's a little bit pixelated. This is. Um, uh, all of the amazing work um, that the school district is planning to uh, launch into um, over the next year. But while we get there, I'll give you a little bit of background. So for those of you who are um, not as familiar with MEF, uh, MEF was founded in 2007. Um, we are a 501c3 nonprofit organization that has as its mission ensuring that every Millbrae student has access to reach his or her highest potential. Um, and we do that by raising money that we donate to the school district to provide programming during the school day. Um, so, uh, we can zoom ahead probably one slide because I want to give you a little update. Um, the picture has changed a little bit since I came and talked to you all last year. Um, as you know, Measure N passed. Um, so just to kind of lay out what this looks like, um, <clears throat> we have some funding uh, that we have had available for a long time. We have a new addition of funding from Measure N that's going to start coming in, and that's a huge boost to what our school district can plan for because it's, those are dollars that they can anticipate getting uh, reliably at a predictable dollar level for the next several years, which is really great. MEF, we hope, but we're not always sure exactly what will come in on a year-to-year -year basis. So there's always a little bit of a question until we really know how we're doing. Uh, MEF and the PTAs and PTO fund programming for kids either during the school day or uh, to build community um, at the school site. So MEF dollars tend to fund things like salaries, uh, district-wide programming and the like. Um, as well as staff development um, to build expertise of our teachers and give them additional support. Uh, PTA and PTO dollars fund supplies, field trips, uh, family engagement activities, uh, fun stuff, bells and whistles, and outside of the school day as well. Um, so we really work in partnership. Thanks to all of you in this room, we had a really great fundraising year last year. Um, and that's made it possible for us to put in some new programming. Um, some high level updates, um, we raised 37% more than we had raised the previous year, which is awesome. And I think a lot of that had to do with the role models that we have here in this room. Because if you'll notice, our sponsorship dollars went up by 48% last year. That's huge. And I'll just give a little preview. I'll get to this later in our slides, but we're already past where we were at the end of last year in terms of sponsorships. And so when I talk about partnership, that's what I'm seeing. We're all coming together and we're doing things that have a huge impact on our kids. Um, we're also seeing more engagement from families. Um, so our participation from families went up to 48% from 35%. Um, and we're also seeing families reach out more to get corporate match from their employers, which is basically free money uh, for MEF um, on behalf of employees of these organizations. So these are all huge gains for us. Um, 
this is a little bit too pixelated probably for us to be able to read what it's saying. This is a listing of all of the different organizations and a couple of individuals that have sponsored us so far this year. And so more and more, um, you'll start seeing your names, your logos. Um, we'll be coming around with posters that you can hang and display so that people who come by your um, place of business will see that you're a supporter of MEF, showing our logo, showing your logo. You can start to expect to see those things rolling out so that you have ways of showing publicly that you support us as well. So thank you to everyone here in this room. We really and truly appreciate it. Um, I am going to just very briefly touch on the high level of this. Um, so as I mentioned before, MEF and PTA PTO work collaboratively to fund programs and experiences um, for kids at the schools. And we were able to put in place some new programming for this school year because of increased contributions to MEF. Um, as you know, career fields and education focus areas continue to change and evolve. And so we were able to create a new full-time position that's a STEAM innovation coordinator position. Um, this is a person who is working with teachers and students district-wide TK through eighth grade. Um, working with everyone from classroom teachers all the way to uh, principals at our campuses so that they also have more information in order to best support teachers as they implement more hands-on science experiences. Um, we have a new STEAM elective at Taylor Middle School that's slated to be the first of three that will roll out over the next few years as funding allows. Um, so lots of new ideas and opportunities um, and some more uh, uh, innovated approaches to technology education as well across all the different grade levels. And I apologize, there are some builds in this slide deck. I've used it before to really get into details with parents. Um, so this is something that we have been liking to share this year. This is our uh, accounting for how exactly the dollars that MEF has given to Millbrae School District is distributed across all of the different things that we're supporting. Um, and so what you'll see as you read through this list is almost entirely these dollars go to fund salaries. Um, we are trying to put in place content experts who can help boost the frontline teacher's capacity to teach new content areas with emerging and more rigorous and more hands-on methodology than they've had to do in the past. Um, we're really helping to, seeking to help support them as they innovate and modernize. Um, and so almost every single line except for the very bottom one, uh, which is a teamwork enrichment programming through La Garza, um, that typically provides some time for classroom teachers to do collaborative trainings and meetings with each other, um, all goes toward funding the salaries of people who work with Millbrae's kids. Okay, so big picture here. Um, we are looking to expand the breadth and the depth of the academic programming, boosting everyone's ability to help kids learn more and learn deeper what they're most interested in, um, as well as give them life survival skills. So things like how to work in a team, how to be a leader, how to express yourself when things aren't going well, um, to give them a sense of all the different ways that they can grow beyond their academic day in the classroom. And I would be remiss if I didn't just share this. We are really proud of what Millbrae has done by passing a parcel tax to support the schools and that the foundation has raised more in the last couple of years than we've been able to before. But our grand total still puts us just past the lowest rank in San Mateo County. Um, so two things I want to mention about that. One is more money helps. Um, and, you know, as we continue to build our relationships and really boost our kids, I think we're going to start to see that change more and more. Number two is, I think that we should all be very impressed with how well our school district does to educate Millbrae's kids so well with such limited resources. It's amazing. We have amazing teachers, we have amazing principals, we have amazing parent volunteers, we have amazing community volunteers, we have an incredible board of trustees and fantastic district leadership. 
And I just think it, we have a very magical thing going on here in our little community. And I'm so proud to be a part of that. Um, and with that, I think I will call that done, except I do want to share with you uh, an invitation to, we can skip one more slide too. Uh, we can skip ahead one more slide to invite you to join us at the second annual Millbrae Education Foundation Gala. Um, that will be on Saturday, March 2nd, 2019, and it will be a lot of fun. And I hear that it's a Gatsby theme, which I think I have to mention to you now because it takes a long time to figure out what to wear to something that's an actual theme. Um, but I just wanted to say again, thank you all so much. Um, we really appreciate it. The students benefit every single day from everything that you do for them, whether it's at school or outdoors or in your place of business or other volunteering. So thank you. Thank you so much, Mara. Wow, great job, Superintendent Vaughn and also President Barr. Give it up for them. She knows today we're here to get her to talk about the ecosystem. The Millbury Elementary School District is the first half of the equation. The other half, which is also important as part of Millbury Schools, is Mill High School and also San Mateo County School District. So, to give an update on Mills High School, we're going to have Principal Pam and also Joe Henry from Mills PTO. Hello, good evening, everybody. Thank you for having us this evening. Um, just to get the pulse of the room um, and to give you a little bit of a stretch break, if you are an alumni of Mills High School, you attended Mills yourself, please stand. Woo! Stay standing. Stay standing, Vikings. If you are a former parent of Mills, please stand, stay standing. Yeah, former parent. Okay, we doubled that. Nice. Current parent of a Mills High School student. current student at Mills High School. We got three back there. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Mills is definitely in the house this evening. <laughs> I should have said superintendent. <laughs> oh, but you hear about that one. Good evening, friends, friends in this room, distinguished guests, community supporters, partners, superintendents, both of you, Phaser Shirt and Superintendent Skelly, and all of you are advocates for public education. I wanted to thank the Millbrae Lions for their generous support of the annual fund this fall. Not only did Lion Calvin fully participate in our Mills Mania event and volunteered for our dunk tank. Did anybody in here dunk him? <laughs> it's a good sport. I think he was the fifth or sixth member in the dunk tank, so I appreciate that. <laughs> a little salty by the time you got in there. <laughs> um, but the Lions went above and beyond in, in every regard and um, financially supported our annual fund drive. And those funds go directly to our students at Mills High School and to provide really quality teaching and learning experiences from, for them. So thank you for your generous contribution. So what has been going on on the Viking ship? I wanted to take this opportunity just to highlight some of the activities and the partnerships, since partnerships is a theme 
um, for this evening at Mills. And of course, we started our partnership with the community with our Mills Mania event, an annual fun kickoff uh, that brought out many of you in the broader community, uh, Taylor Middle School, Principal Mark also joined our dunk tank, um, and many of you in this room. So that was, that was really our, our first community event. Um, some other partnerships and events at Mills that involve our students that I just wanted to highlight. Uh, earlier this month, a very diverse group of 30 high school students served as mentors and role models for about 236th grade Taylor students at the Outdoor Education Week, a week-long program. They were in the woods for a week. Sixth graders and high schoolers. And I have to tell you, Mark, I mean, I think the, the kind of the growth was two-way. Your sixth graders taught a lot to our high schoolers over that week. Um, today, we had 60 freshman students at Mills in our new uh, SAIL Academy. They spent the, the day at Gilead Science to explore careers in the STEM field. And they got to have lunch with uh, people who work at Gilead and learn about their backgrounds and how they came to work in the science and technology industry. This academy is a pilot at Mills this year of freshman students who develop really close relationships with each other and our teachers and formulate a small community of learners and engage in kind of these, these, uh, these different collaborative learning experiences. It's one way that Mills is thinking differently about how to structure the high school experience. Also, this fall, for the first time, Mills is partnering with Skyline and offering an evening course, a community college evening course, on the Mills campus. So students can stay at Mills for even longer on Monday nights, 6 to 9. Um, we have uh, 33 students. It's open to all students in the district. Um, and we do have every site represented in this course. And they're learning about health careers uh, taught by a professor from Skyline College. And um, they really, really are, are loving the program. And um, they're getting credit in the community college and in high school. So um, it's been a, a great experience for them. And in addition, two weeks ago, our students put together a student mental health assembly. It's our second annual mental health assembly, a uh, uh, topic that our students feel very passionate about. And they partnered with community organizations here, like the Chinese Health Initiative, Star Vista, Safe Space, and Stanford, and created a like, decision-making virtual game that they presented to the whole student body um, around a relevant teen mental health issue. Um, and finally, I saw many of you just last week at our Rotary Luncheon for Battle of the Strip. Thank you, Rotary. 27 years, right, Rotarians? 23 years. 23 years of hosting the Battle of the Strip Luncheon for Mills in Cappuccino. And it's just a testament to the Rotary's support of not just the school's athletic programs, but really our school spirit as Vikings. And so thank you, Rotarians. I'm not going to tell you the score. I'm going to skip that part. But... <laughs> Mayor Pappen was there, I think she can tell you the score. <laughs> so these are just a few examples of Mills, and it speaks to the range of our partnerships with our local uh, civic and community organizations, our educational partners, both with Taylor Middle School and Skyline College, um, with those in the Bay Area tech sector, and with our public mental health uh, agencies and organizations. 
So Mills is a vibrant school because of these partnerships. And as many uh, as you know, um, this year Mills is how old? 60 years old. It's our birthday. <laughs> that may be the only time I'm glad to be 60. <laughs> Founded in 1958. Mills was created... 1958! Okay, <laughs> we won't ask why, Calvin. All of those who have 1958 as a special year, please stand. <laughs> wow. Wow. Come out out in January. You can celebrate your birthday with Mills. Okay. In 1958, uh, Mills opened the doors. And the purpose, the very purpose of Mills um, was to serve the local Millbrae community. The creation of Mills came from the San Mateo Union High School District's intention, intention to partner with this community and provide an excellent quality public high school where the students of Millbrae could attend and receive a world-class education. In the 60 years to follow, Mills would add value to the Millbrae community, and not just in real estate and housing prices. <laughs> Mills would add value in preparing generations of Millbrae citizens, as we just saw. So if we look around the room tonight, we find ourselves surrounded by Mills alumni, current and former parents, faculty, staff, and partners. As the Mills principal, I'm humbled to serve this community each and every day. And it is because of your support and your belief in public education for our young people and what Lion Kelvin calls the ecosystem of this community. And it's because the hopes I have for our young people that I devote my heart and my soul to Mills in this work. So let's together imagine 2078. Some of us be here. Twenty seventy-eight, sixty years from tonight. <laughs> if some of us are as lucky as George, we might be able to be here in 2078. So tonight, my birthday wish for Mills is that in that year, the ties between Mills and the Millbrae community are as strong as they are today. I have great faith in the future of our school and in the promise of our community to embrace the changes ahead of us, yet stay rooted in our original purpose to serve the Millbrae community and the young people we care deeply for. From my heart, Lions, thank you for your service. And to Millbrae, thank you for being champions of Mills High School. Tonight, I'm joined by a woman that I greatly admire. It is hard for me to imagine Mills without her. She has spent countless hours as our PTO president for the past three years not just organizing volunteers for the multitude of events at Mills, including Mills Mania, but she works to support our parents, address tough issues that our teens face, and be there for Mills in absolutely every regard. 
Joy is a selfless leader who always puts students at the center of the discussion. She is a true mover and shaker. Ladies and gentlemen, PTO President Joy Henry. I don't know if I deserved that um, introduction, but thank you, Pam. I think one of the greatest partnerships I have is with Principal Dzunski and her team at Mills High School. Um, they are such, every time I go out to places, I tell everyone that Mills High School, bar none, is the best high school um, there is in the district and probably in the Bay Area or anywhere. <laughs> Thank you, Lion President Bart, event co-chairs, Lion Dave, Lion Cal, and all distinguished Lions this evening for having me. I am both humbled and honored, again, with all of these volunteers that we have here and all of the speaker, uh, speakers you could have, I'm here tonight, so thank you um, for having Principal Dzunski here, Superintendent Skelly, and me representing the parents of Mills High School. As Principal Dzunski said, we launched the annual fund drive with Mills Mania in early September, and we had the dunk tank. We did have Cal, we had Jeff in there, um, we had Wayne, I think Ruben's in here as well, and really, really popular was Principal Zader. I mean, the, the line was across the way. So thank you, Principal Zader, for, for joining us. That, um, so that was the launch of our annual fund. To date, we've received $79,100, which is 55% of goal in only a month and a half. So we are grateful for the support of our parents, the Millbrae community members, the Millbrae Lions, the Millbrae Leos who donated generously. These funds go towards building our STEAM program. They support classes such as computer science, provide essential supplies to teachers and classes, and they provide extra counseling support for our students. This is my last and fourth year as president, and year over year we've brought in well over $100,000. I am extremely proud of this because the year before me, and, and I've tried to beat this every single year, but have not. So the year before this, past president Paul Cito brought in, I think it was $150,000. But the year before that, which was six years before me, I think we just hit a little bit over $45,000. So to hit year over year over $100,000 is phenomenal for our school. We start, thank you. We start to lose, I think after elementary school, going into middle school, you start to lose some interest from the parents. So I think that's such a, it, it speaks volumes that we start to get that enthusiasm back. There is still a lot of work to do, however. Only 16% of our school population contribute to the annual fund. And although we continue to get new volunteers, um, VP Karen Batuki, we took her from the MEF. We took some other members from the MEF too, so, so thank you. <laughs> um, we want to continue to spread the word that parent involvement in high school is extremely important, probably as much as it is in the elementary school and in middle school. Again, this is my final year and I leave the same message that I came in with, and that is we are, the, we are our children's primary examples. If we want to see change in the world, we should roll up our sleeves and start in our neck of the woods. And what better place to volunteer than where we live, where our kids go to school. Our public schools, our teachers, and our students need and love that we volunteer our time and give what we can when we can. Lastly, as Principal Dzunski said, this is our 60th birthday, so we are celebrating big save the date, um, we'll, we'll send out a more formal invitation, but January 26, 2019 will be our birthday bash at Mills High School, so we hope that you will all be there. It will be a decades theme, so 
If you love the 80s, put on your 80s gear. If it's the 60s for you, do it up. So we expect you all to be there. Again, thank you so much for having us and your support for, of Mills High School. Real quick, because we have our Leos, and it's a school night. So I know they would like to make a donation. So we're going to have them come up and present their uh, donation real quick, because hopefully maybe they have some homework. Let's also get our Leo advisors, John Muniz, Ann Schneider, and future Leo advisor, Lion Mike Mullins, come up here. I'll have to ask um, Newbury Elementary School Director Mara, President's MEF, Superintendent. And also the Gala MEF, come up here as well too, accept the check. Joe Henry and Principal Pam, and also Dr. Scully as well too. No, when well you do your thing. Oh, you can come up here. You want. All right, so who has the check? All right, so we're going to do a photo op. We're going to do a photo op, right? This is the Millbury Leos giving donations to MEF. One more. All right, so let's get the check. <laughs> Show us the money. Who's the money? <laughs> oh, you have the check? Okay, okay. So you're going to present it to Mara, our president. Okay, we'll do. Good evening. Um, my name is Victoria, and I'm a senior at Mills High School. I'm the president of the Mowbray Leos Club. Hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm also a senior at Mills High School, and I'm historian of the Leos Club. Hi, I'm Kaylee Deleuze. I'm also a senior, and I'm also the, oh, and I'm the vice president. So the word Leos stands for Leadership, Experience, Opportunity, and Service. And the Mobile Leos Club believes in creating an environment where children can receive an excellent education. Because of this, we would like to donate $500 to the Mulberry Education Foundation. <laughs> Since the last Movers and Shakers and Dinner, um, the Mobile Leos Club has donated $3,500 3, to support Mills High School, Relay for Life, Mobile Machines Car Show and various other um, projects. Yeah. And then this past fall, we've had 11 new Leos join our club, giving us a total of 56 Leos. <laughs> And for more information, you can check out our new website at mowbrayleosclub.org. Uh, thank you for your hard work and consideration. Picture up here. What do we have, our President Victoria? Um, in the PTO meeting, we donated one thousand dollars to the um, PTO. Great job! Thank you so much. Now we'll have Dr. Skelly <laughs> finish the speech. So I have, have a seat. Thank you so much, MEF, and thank you, Member Leo's Club. Let's give a warm welcome to Dr. Skelly from San Mateo High. Thank you very much. I can't remember being at a more celebratory uh, event since the, uh, since the uh, Man and Woman of the Year uh, event in Melbray that I went to just a few weeks ago. So this is, uh, it's the wine? Okay, well, I think it's the spirit here in Melbray. Um, the theme here is movers and shakers, and I, I want to... Um, recognize uh, some people. One is um, 
the uh, Millbrae Elementary School District. Um, you saw the money issue here, but I'm not sure there's a district, certainly not um, of our partner districts, that has, does more with fewer resources than you guys do. And so um, we... <clears throat> Often when we get kids into college or they do great things like the Leos here, um, we're really just sort of pushing on what you guys do at the elementary level. And so we really appreciate um, the work that you do there. Um, another mover and shaker I want to recognize is Pam Dzinski. Um, Ms. Dzinski is in, is this your fourth year um, in the school? And third year is fifth year. And third year as principal. And um, this is, she has been, um, it was a great principal before her, but she is a transformative leader. And her love of students is just um, such a wonderful thing. And what she said about her love of Mills High School um, really is what she does. It is her uh, calling, it's her mission, it's her work, and the students in that school are so fortunate to have you, Pam. So thank you for all you do. Um, I was a principal for 11 years, and it's one of the greatest jobs in the world, but it is a jealous lover. It wants your time all the time, and it, um, you're there all the time. The hours are, are punishing, um, but uh, it's, it's really a fantastic um, job. In, in terms of other movers and shakers, um, we have six schools in the, in the district, and I love them all like my children. Um, but. Mills is a special place, and you have a fantastic school in this community, and I think you know that. By every measure, uh, Mills stands out. Now, not football, but almost every measure. Um, it's really a, a wonderful school, um, and I think the education that you get there and the sense of caring about kids there is, is really fantastic. Um, I do want to mention, in terms of partnerships, um, for the past four years, um, on a quarterly basis, um, I, a board member from our district often, um, the um, city uh, council members, um, the school board of Melbourne Elementary District, we get together at 7.30, this ungodly hour, um, and we talk about educational issues. And I think that's one of the partnerships that I don't see in other schools, that I, uh, other communities that I work with. Um, there's six um, communities that we serve um, as the San Mateo High School District, but none of them have that board school um, connection that, that exists in, Mill, in Millbrae and Mills. And I think that makes this um, place um, really different. Um, I want to talk a little bit about kids. Um, we talk a lot about kids and the challenges they have, the mental health issues, but there are not, there has never been a greater generation than the kids now. They're smarter than we were. They're more tolerant of each other. Their behavior is better. Their academic achievement is better. If you've tried to help your high school kid with any homework, you know they're doing things maybe that you remember doing in college. But the, the level of education that uh, they have nowadays, their sense of ethics and morality and service is just second to none. And so we, we really should um, celebrate those kids. They are going to be movers and shakers. Uh, another mover and shaker is this community. Um, you are undergoing extraordinary change. Um, I was in a um, class at Mills the other day, and I asked the students, how many of you are from here? You know, you grew up here, and, and your families grew up here. And yeah, there's a smattering of folks there. But what's amazed me, then I had the kids talk about how many of you were born in another country, and the number of kids who um, stood up was higher, and then whose parents grew up in another uh, community and I stood up with those kids too because my parents grew up in Ireland and it was literally it was so many kids and then all of those people from all over the world end up in this community in Millbrae. It's extraordinary that, that all those people from so many different locations would be there and they're moving out there and they're going to shake up the world and they're going to bring where they were and that where they are now um, into greater um, relief. And then the other really important group, I know we have um, two teachers here from Aragon uh, who are uh, the Hendersons back there. Um, I want to talk about another partnership that we as a district are talking about, and that is staff housing. And that involves both the elementary district and the high school district. 
A day doesn't go by when I don't have a conversation with a staff member or um, certainly not, certainly students even more so, but I'm dealing mostly with the adults about the housing vulnerability that people feel. The young people who are living with their parents who are teaching here, who'd have no hope of ever settling down, and then who, who want to work in our district, um, who want to stay in our district, but can't afford to do that. And so one of the issues that we're exploring as a district is the possibility of, of housing. And that may involve uh, the Millbrae community, that may involve Mills, um, but I think we have to do something to allow people in our community who are doing the service of our children to have a place and to have some sort of security about where they can live and then have the possibility of saving some money so that they could possibly um, live in our community. Um, we could talk about programs that we're doing, um, the bond measure, and we appreciate the support of the district, the parcel tax, but it all comes down to who is that adult in front of your students who makes a difference every day. And if you think back at your schools, the, it is not the size of the classroom or what the classroom looked like, but it's the person there that you remember. Um, and we need to win every day the very best teachers um, to educate the young people here. So I appreciate um, Mil Milbray um, as the time has gone on and I've had the chance um, to learn more about your extraordinary community. I'm just more and more impressed with the ecosystem that you've created here for young people. So thank you for that. Thank you, Dr. Skelly. We also have a Mills teacher here, Angela Mullins. Please stand up. Woo! Okay, we're almost done. Almost there. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> so we have, um, you know, some great, wonderful organizations who also want to provide some donations to MEF and the Mills Annual Fund here in a minute. But uh, first, I'd like to uh, introduce the second member of my household, my wife, Debbie Van Wart, who is, uh, she, she's the boss. She is the boss, right? the president of the Millbrae Community Foundation, and she wants to talk a minute about, um, <laughs> I have a little funny story, see? She's, you know, they do their holiday star fundraiser, and she's like, please make copies. I'm like, yeah, okay, I got it covered with the agenda. We're trying to save time and paper. What do I do? Double-sided and black and white. It was supposed to be in color. <laughs> There's a few colored ones splattered out there, but not enough for everyone, so, Please read the back of your agenda. I'm plugging the stars. Come out uh, December 1st, out in front of City Hall, and make sure you participate in that. So, Miss, Miss Debbie, here you go. <laughs> so, I'll make this really quick. First of all, I was a Millbrae kid. Who else was Millbrae kids in here? See, look at them all. Look at them all. We were able to afford buying a house, weren't we? <laughs> so anyway, I am president of the Millbrae Community Foundation. I'm very proud of that. This is our logo. We are Millbrae Community Foundation, not Millbrae Education Foundation. I was a part of that too before. But Millbrae Community Foundation, we serve the entire community. And I would love to tell you about all of that, but I won't because I won't. But we have supported the schools a great deal. And in the last 12 months, we, have, um, we answer grants, so we don't just donate. But we have received grants, and we have paid out over $7,000 worth of grants to the Millbrae kids. So would you please consider ordering a star, making a donation? We will certainly hang the star on the holiday tree for you and your family for any purpose and um, we look forward to getting your order thank you okay <laughs> all right Woo. color remember color flyer okay uh, not very well <laughs> okay all of our guest speakers and including our president We'd like you to come on up in front here. 
Do you, you, you do that part. Okay, I'll get them all up. So, okay. All our speakers, so, come on up here. Line up all your and Karen also, PTL, and also MEF. Um, let's get all the gala people up there. Come here. Just like we did last year, we have the fabulous Rotary Club of Millbrae who wants to make a nice donation to both MEF and Mills High School. It's going to be the 2018 Woman of the Year, past president of the Rotary Club, Deidre Gladwin. Give her up to her. Thank you very much. I got to tell you, that was quite an honor and a wonderful evening for me and my family and my friends and the community and something that I never dreamed would really happen, but it was terrific, so thanks. Um, I am delighted to be here tonight on behalf of the Rotary Club of Millbrae to present a check to Mills High School for their annual fund. Yeah. <laughs> and a check to MEF for their sponsorship of their gala. I'm one of the founding members, and as long as I'm involved in Rotary, you can be sure you're gonna be getting a donation from them. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Millbrae Woman of the Year, Deidre Gladwin, give it up to her. All right. Now for our final donation. It'll be under line president, Bart Spisha from the Millbrae Lions Club. Donation to MEF and Mills Annual Fund. We have a check here for five, thousand dollars to MEF. Woo! Woo! Wow, that's a big check, huh? Wow, let's get a picture here. Yeah, baby. Woo! All right, hold on. Oh, what's it? another check? Wow, I got a check for Mills High School for $5,000. Yeah. Who gets this? Woo! Thank you. You're welcome, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Isn't he so charismatic? Line President Barspicia, amazing! What time is it? Oh, nine minutes. All right, Line Dave, what's next? What is next? I think it's our photo op. Is it photo op? It's our photo op time. Up and we're gonna have our photo op. If you're a president of a club, Chamber of Commerce, Rotary, PTO, PTA. All right, right, over here, right in front. Superintendents, board, mayor, principals. Okay, Paul Larson is guiding us over there. Trust, trustees. We got the school trustees, school board, everybody get up here, come on now. If you were a mover and if you were a shaker, Paul is gonna get you in here. Who are we missing? Let's see, we got Frank and Maggie, Lynn. All right, everybody in here. Here we go. Here we go. On a principal. Yeah. Movie shaker. Come on. Let's do it. All right. Now I want everyone in the audience. Wait, 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 wait. I want everyone in the audience to stand up and give, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Give an applause to all the leaders of the Movers and Shakers. They give up time and time hours. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Hey, everybody. Man. I have, stay up here, Calvin. I'd be nowhere with these two guys here. Believe that, right? You know what I mean? No, but 
come on. This, this was put on by these two guys. They did a lot of work, and they just let me come for the ride. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Calvin said, I'm here up again again next year in Dave's position. What do you think? Should I do it? Yeah, baby. How much money we get tonight? 10000 10, Next year we go for fifty. $50,000. All right? Everybody say one, two, three. Mediova. Thank you so much, everybody. Woo, that was good. Thank you, man. Good job, man. Thank you, everybody.